Okay, what I got here is a cylinder off of a uh, loader, front end loader, tilt cylinder. I'm not sure of the model, but uh, we're going to be doing a reseal on this. And this has an aluminum gland with the spiral ring, so that's going to be fun probably. So if you like this sort of thing, if you would go down there, click the subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. I do have an Amazon affiliates links down in the description. Uh, people's been asking about tools and things, so I figured I would do that and provide that as an option if you want. I'm not telling you to buy anything, but if you do, consider going that route. All right, so we're going to get into this. This has got some, like I said, this is an aluminum gland with a spiral ring. Got some spanner holes on the side. Okay, so I got my spanner wrench. I'm going to find a hole. This ain't the right size, but it'll, it should turn it. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty tight. Start off by taking some freeze off, spraying it in. And I'm not sponsored, but link is in the description if you decide you want anything. Okay, get some of that going around, see if that does anything. Still pretty tight. Probably going to have to hit that. Oh, man. That thing is tight. Okay. I'll move this block down closer to here so I can take this. And I'm going to have to tap. Okay, let's see if that done anything. It's the bad thing about aluminum and steel. Oh man. Bring it over here to the vise. This table's solid. I'll take and hit it. Okay, let's see what that did. With any luck, that thing will turn. This baby. Mm. That's not a good sign. Okay. Yeah, no, this thing's tight. I'm going to have to figure something else. Okay, I was finally able to get this to move. I had to take it in the other room and... Ended up putting a pipe wrench on the side here. Sometimes that's the only choice you have. Uh, aluminum and steel. There's no other way, really. I mean, there are, but I don't have those means. Maybe a factory does. OEM. But uh, especially the guy at home doing this just to get their tractor going. They really ain't going to have the, all the means to do all this. Everybody's got a pipe wrench. Don't look the prettiest. It'll tear some stuff up, but sometimes that's the only way. Okay. So let's go up this locking ring. Let's see, I'm gonna take a pick and figure out which way this is laid in there. It needs to roll out this way. So I'll rotate it enough so I can get my pick under the end of this. Get my pick under it right here and then keep it under there and I'll turn it. It's hard to see, but that's starting to roll that out. Once the end of this wire gets past the tube, that slot, then you can take the pick out and turn it the rest of the way out. Okay, until we get there and then it just comes out. 
I'll take and spray some freeze off in here. Get all this crap broke up. And you can see that freeze off is bubbling out between the end of the tube there and the gland. So I'd say that's pretty good and saturated. And I'll take and blow any crap out that I can. Now it's a matter of pulling the rod out. Probably gonna be some oil in here. Just a little bit. Cover this port so it don't blow out when I take and basically to get that in far enough and then do a, just pull it out like that. I'll set the tube to the side for now. Put the rod in the vise. Put a rag down here, protect that rod a little. I need an inch and an eighth. Okay, I got an inch and an eighth uh, socket here on uh, half inch impact Thor 1894. Again, not sponsored, but link is in the description. If you decide this might work for you, I will say this is a good impact, but again, don't have to buy it. All right, we're going to take the piston nut off. Okay, piston nuts off. We'll slide the piston off. Slide the gland off. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and start with the gland. Remove the backup and the O-ring here. That's it on the outside. Then the inside, there's a uh, U-shop in here. Oop. U cups out and the wiper here this is a hammer in wiper so so this one i'm going to take a uh, i got a pick here that's been ground make it flat like a chisel i'm going to get under the bottom right here and i'm gonna try to hammer up underneath the metal on that If you can see there, uh, kind of hard to tell, but get it up high enough. Get it up high enough to where we can take a screwdriver then and put where that was at and hit that in. What that does is that creates that gap under there. And we can just take our screwdriver and twist, and walk that thing around till the wiper comes out. Okay, that's it for the gland. Set it to the side. Go to the piston. Remove the piston seal. Remove the main Teflon first. Then remove the expander underneath. And that's it for the piston. These are all the old seals out of it. I'll get everything cleaned up. Get the new seals. And uh, we'll get put resealing and putting them back together. But you can see what happens when aluminum and steel uh, make contact. It's, it's not a good outcome usually. So get all this cleaned up and then I'll be back. <laughs> all right, we're back. We got everything cleaned up. We got our new seals uh, outside of this glands a little better. But there are bite marks on there from the jaws where I had to break it loose. Uh, but overall, this is still serviceable. It's just aesthetics at this point, which this cylinder's got pitting on the rod, and it's on a old loader. So, what do you do? I guess if you don't like it, you don't have to watch my video. For starters, I'll start off with the piston seal. This is a PS1400-32. PS1400 represents the uh, square profile of this Teflon and uh, 32 represents the two inch bore because this is a two inch bore. So we'll start with the expander first, just an O-ring, then the Teflon seal, start it over and walk it around. This will be stretched and we'll have to shrink it back down to size. 
once that's like that we got to shrink that back down with the seal clasper i've got my seal clasper here and i'll go ahead and put the piston in and compress that and let that do its thing while i finish the gland okay start with the uh, bottom groove here which is a one series size o-ring for a uh, two inch od two inch bore start with the back up it has a concave on one side side and uh, i'll put it on first and i'll just roll that around till it's seated then i'll take my o-ring and this back up is like i said concave on one side to seat the profile of the o-ring so we'll put the o-ring on that's it for the outside now the u-cup on the inside this bevel faces towards the bottom so it'll go it'll go in this position orientation so i'll start with my u-cup and it's hard to see but get one side started get one side started down in there then you can take and start to work around until <clears throat> Until you get that thing to seat. And then our hammer and wiper. Take and start it in. best if you can get it seated all the way around before you really hit it but this wants to be a pain there we go now we hit and walk you can also use a block of steel or something uh, installation tool bearing installation tool or whatever to hit that down but that's generally how i do it so that's it for reselling we'll get some grease put on the u-cut and we'll put it back on the rod we'll leave that sit there that's a little tight <clears throat> take our piston out of our seal clasper and this is chamfered on one side chamfer goes towards the towards the gland slide that back on now we can take our socket put it on the end of our piston and give it a bump that allows us to put our gland all the way on pistons on little 121 thread locker on the end here piston nut back on and then we tighten it down okay once that's tightened we'll remove the rod put the tube back in now the end of this does have some, need some clean up. So I'll take a cleaner rag, put it in the tube. Then I'll get a wire wheel, clean that up. Okay, I got a wire wheel on my die grinder here and I'll take and clean this up. Okay, once 
Once that's all clean, grab your rag. Do not forget it. And clean up where we just cleaned there, inside that groove. It's still discolored, but it's smooth. And that's as good as we're gonna get that. So now we put it back together, take a rod, put some grease on our piston seal and our O-ring, start our piston seal in. Just hold steady pressure and start to walk. Now our gland where that wire goes in has a hole that needs to line up with the slot in the tube. So it's in position right there. So take it and then push. Take our lock ring here, put the hook in the hole in the gland. Take our spanner and get that started and then just turn that in. Okay, once that gets to there, keep turning until I'm gonna use something different so you can see maybe. So basically this here, we take and turn until it's down flush and put the rod back in and that's it. That's how you reseal uh, this type of loader tilt cylinder. If you've made it this far, thank you. I sure appreciate it. Uh, if you got anything out of this, uh, please consider clicking that subscribe, turning the bell on for notifications and giving this video a thumbs up. If you got anything out of it, let me know down there in the comments, anything that I can do or you want to see, and I'll try my best to do it as it comes through the door. So until next time, thanks for watching.